Hey you guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today I've got a brand new launcher to show you guys. Uh, just showed up on the Play Store recently. Figured I'd check it out. It's pretty cool, so hang out and we'll take a look at it. So this launcher is called the Dodo <laughs> Launcher. Dodo? I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. D-O-D-O-L. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's very similar to Go Launcher in my opinion. Uh, you can see the icons are similar and uh, some of the functionality is similar. But it is a full featured launcher. You can customize a ton of things. You can change the icons. You can change the themes as well. You can download tons of themes. And uh, we'll show you that here in a second. But um, it's pretty simple to begin with. There's nothing flashy about it, nothing crazy. It's not like Next Launcher or um, one of those crazy themed out 3D animation launchers. It does have scrolling animation, transition animation similar to like Nova Launcher. Um, in fact, in the app drawer here, I've got it set up for the, the flipping action. I believe, um, don't remember exactly what it's called, but uh, just testing out some things here. It has swiping gestures. You, you swipe down and the notification drawer comes down. You swipe up and your menu pops up here. You can also access the menu by long pressing on the screen. And uh, you see my little puppy there, Willow. That's one of the cool things. You can add photos to your home screen. You can also add these stickers here. Like uh, I was just testing this out. Saw the Christmas tree, figured it's almost uh, Christmas time. We'll go ahead and try that. But these can be rotated as well as enlarged to get it exactly where you want it. And there were a ton of stickers to choose from. But we'll get into that here in a second. When you swipe up, as I said, you get your menu and you have a couple options. There's a button there to jump right into the themes shop where you can download tons of themes for this launcher. There's also a button here to edit, jump into the home screen edit. And here you can edit certain things like um, number of home screens, the, the grid size, the icons, which is pretty cool. So if you tap on that here, um, you can make the icons bigger or smaller. And I like that it, it does it in real time so you can see it. That's pretty good. Let me get back to that. There's another page here, and here you can turn off and on certain things like the status bar, the dock bar, uh, the little indicators. And I believe that's it for, yeah, those are the only two screens there. So here you can add things to your home screen as far as widgets, uh, icons, shortcuts, things like that, photos. Here's where you can add the stickers. We'll check that out real quick. That's the one that I had, was playing around with, but there's tons of stickers you can get here. And um, once they, they load up, it's, it's a little laggy, but <laughs> lots of stickers to choose from. Now back into our menu here. Got a button for themes, uh, as well as icon packs, wallpapers. You can change all those. You can add more screens if you need to, uh, the preferences, and then the settings, system settings. We'll jump into preferences here. And here's where you can change things like uh, the, the transition effects for the home screen as well as the app drawer. There's settings for the dock as well as the uh, as folders. Notifications, gestures, you can, you can play around with those. Uh, backup and restore. So it's a lot of the similar settings to other launchers like Nova Launcher for example which Nova Launcher is my favorite launcher, so if this turns out to be equally as good, but with the ability to download themes and things, that would be awesome. So that being said, we'll jump into the themes. This is your theme shop, and it is ad supported here, the theme shop is, but um, tons of themes to play around with, uh, to download. Uh, it's very similar to the MyUI interface or MIUI. I don't know how it's pronounced. I always pronounce it MIUI. Alright, let's check one out here. Let's look at this one. So you get a picture here you can scroll through. 
you get your uh, information about the uh, theme. You can download it down here. If you swipe up, you get recommended downloads, or excuse me, recommended themes based on this choice. If you swipe down, you get a full screen, which once again, you can scroll through. If it'll register, there might only be, okay, there we go. And uh, as I said, you can download that and apply it. So if we go into our theme uh, button here section, it shows our installed themes that you can do. Some of, one of these is just an icon pack. But uh, that being said, we can also go into icon packs and it shows all the icon packs that you have installed on your device. And then what's really cool is if you just tap one, the icons show quickly change in real time, um, which is cool. I really like that. You can see what it's going to look like, and if that's really what you want, you can try the next one if it's not. A lot of times for launchers, you'll be in the settings, and you go to change the icons, and you have no idea what it looks like. You have to back all the way back out to the home screen to see what your, your changes were. And then, of course, if you don't like them, you have to go all the way back into the settings to change it. So to be able to see it real time is pretty cool. So the icons down here in the dock are the default shortcut icons that come with the theme. You can change those, of course, um, but you can also map those to whatever application you want. So uh, when you click on the dialer, if you have more than one dialer installed on your device, it'll ask you which one you want to use. That's worked great for me. I've got the native dialer on my phone, which I'm not crazy about, so I installed a third-party dialer and it asked me which one I wanted to use and I just had to set it once and it's it goes to that one each time now which is great. Of course you get all these extra icons you can get rid of their shortcuts to different features this does have lock screens that you can download as well custom lock screens similar to once again my UI but there you go guys that was a real quick look at the Dodo launcher I think it's it's called I, pretty, I like this. I think I'm going to use this for a while and test it out. Now, keep in mind that I'm running the full paid version. Uh, some of these features may not be available on the free version. You'll just have to check that out. But I will put a link in the description down below where you can find this over on the Play Store. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. And we'll see you next time. Hey guys, well, you did it. You made it to the outro screen. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to hit that big subscribe button right below me so you can stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Well, that's it. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Thank you very much once again, and we'll see you next time.